All right, welcome back to our pregame show. Todd Morris with you here on the Bulldog Radio Network, and it's time to sit down with UMS Ride Head Football Coach Terry Curtis for our weekly pregame interview. And uh, Coach, congratulations on getting the 347th victory last Friday night and breaking the record for most career victories. I know you've had a few days now to let it kind of all sink in. Uh, give us your thoughts and, and everything on the night. Well, it was quite a night. Uh, kids played well. We got through the game. Uh a lot of people, everybody got to play, yep. so that's always a good thing. And and probably more than anything, it was a relief just to get it kind of <laughs> over with and move on to playing more games and and see how far we can take this thing. Because, you know, you could kind of tell last week or so it's kind of been on everybody's mind. They wouldn't say anything, but you know they were thinking about it. And, you know, but uh, a lot of people I hadn't seen a lot of time uh, in a long time, former players, former coaches. And all there, so uh, very, very gratifying. Well, good deal. Uh, the final score of the game last week over Headland, fifty-six to thirteen. Uh, but you looked up at the scoreboard there in the second quarter, and we're down thirteen-seven. And I was going to head of school, with Mr. Barber, and I said, "Can we take that gift back now, or what?" <laughs> yeah, but uh, really wasn't the way we wanted things started. But it, you know, it looked like we were trying to settle in a little bit, and then once we did, we scored you know forty nine unanswered and put the game away. Well, so. we played a few. You know, we made a few mistakes defensively there early. Uh, let the quarterback lose contain, yep. and, and came inside instead of proper leverage. And it seems like we've we've had little spells of that. You know, we'll go good for four or five series and all of a sudden we, we can't slow someone down and and uh you know we just got to play with better technique and and do things and once they did you know i don't know if it's the speed you know that could have something to do with it right but, uh it seemed like once we got a little bit now not that he didn't make some plays running around and all that sort of thing but but it wasn't just boom whatever he went 70 yards 71 or, yards or yeah. whatever for a touchdown but and we just got to get started quicker in, in what we're doing the um kicking game was solid the other night we were eight for eight for extra points and then uh, uh you can kind of see the effects now of what joe lott has done and and our other groups that blocking punts are going to do to other teams kicking games because headland was catch and kick just like that and it resulted in some bad kicks and some pretty good field position. i'm not even sure he caught a couple of them yeah. <laughs> he just he kicked it on the way back right you know and uh and it did help again, giving the field position. Uh, Joe again blocks an extra point. Right after they went ahead, you know, going to be fourteen to seven at thirteen. And it's like I've always said, even that fires the other team up when they block an extra point. It's like they scored. Yeah, you know. So uh, and we came right back and took the lead and and, and went from there. But our kicking game, I think. Uh, I think Will has done a great job punting, and and our kicking kickoffs are getting better, and we're covering, and we're blocking kicks, yep. and people know we're going to be trying. Yep. So they have to protect longer. So even like you saw the other night, they're spending all that time protecting, and we're able to get a good return if they do kick one. Yep. To us. Yep. And. Uh, you know, Cole was Cole, but leaving a little better Cole last week. 311 yards, uh, you know, really on 18, 19 carries and four touchdowns. I'm trying to remember back, have we? Do you remember back having 300 yards rushing for us? Well, you know, most of the time when we had one that could have gotten that, the game was over, right. so we didn't play. Like right. Cole could have probably had that several times. Yeah, you take them out at half, but at half yep. the score was still. Not out of reach, and and the quarterback was dynamic. So I think it was what was twenty eight thirteen or something. So we left him in there for a couple more touchdowns, or, or you know, and then uh, and uh, Jake came in and had a long drive with him. So uh, yeah, uh, proud of all of them. The, the best thing right now is after eleven games, uh, we're 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 pretty healthy yes. to be at this point yep. all over the field, offense, defense. Special teams, all our guys have been playing are still playing. Yep. Now, I'm not saying some of them not sore or whatever, <laughs> but we're pretty much full speed. Yeah. And we've gotten, it, it's, I saw Ben Thomas talk about this the other day. The flu bug is still hitting schools, uh, different teams around, not just our region, around the state. We've kind of been through that now. Hopefully that's that's out, out of the picture. For well, us. exactly. We uh, All the guys this week were back at practice, except for the two or three that we've got that's got mono. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, so we get them checked every week. So, uh, but but yeah, everybody was back. All right. So the 
Beauregard Hornets come to Cooper Stadium now for round two. Uh, they were 10-1 and one on the season, or they are 10-1 and one on the season, 9-1 and one in the regular season. The number two seed from Region 4, uh, their only loss was in week eight against the number one seed, Central Clay County. Um, probably one of the bigger teams we have ever seen. And, uh, I mean, not just one or two guys. They got a bunch of... The running backs are probably the biggest three running backs I've ever seen. Exactly. And all of them are 220, 230. Their offensive line's big. Their defensive line's big. Their linebackers are big. Yep. And even their secondary, all of those guys, you always look for one that's a little short and, and 145, 150 pounds. But even those guys are, are six foot, 185, 179, 182. So, yeah, the, uh, they're very big and, and, uh, you know, we got to be able to get on some blocks and and and, uh, and, and try to do some things with their size. Yeah, because they want to run the football. Uh, when you look at their breakdown, their 72% of their plays are running plays. So we've got to be able to tackle and group tackle and make sure we've got enough people there. Well, they got two big old running backs. Number one is the one that starts, but their quarterback also likes to run. Right. And we've got to be ready. Uh, he's not a guy that's going to go back in the pocket and stand back there and look around. He's going to be back there for a short amount of time, and then he's getting ready to start scrambling. Yep. And uh, uh, he's got a lot of experience. His uh, daddy's one of the coaches, and uh, and he's a senior. It's his first year there. He came from uh, Moody. So, uh, you know, he's played some some good ball games, and we got to be ready for uh, for him also. Well, I kind of like our chances uh, since you've – in your 24 years here, we're 21 and one in second round games. So, oh, well, uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about that a lot, though. When teams come to Cooper Stadium, uh, you, the atmosphere here and the experience of our kids all play factors in in those ball games. Well, it does, and our kids like to play at home. They like our crowd excitement and. And this week will be no different. No different at all. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us on the pregame show. <laughs> Always look forward to hearing from you each and every week. Like I say, good luck tonight. Hopefully we're doing this again next week. Thank you, man. All right. The Bulldogs look to take that next step towards the state championship here tonight at Cooper Stadium against the 10-1 and Beauregard Hornets. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a minute. You're listening to UMS Right Football here on Sports Talk, 99.5 Mobile, an iHeart radio station.